Welcome to the One Million Mile Road Trip. I'm Tommy. As you can see here, Dina is driving the RV as we head for our first stop at a Cracker Barrel just on the other side of Knoxville, Tennessee. Maggie is the co-pilot here. I would let you hear the volume, but Dina's listening to a book and I do not want a copyright strike. Um, we arrived just on the other side of Knoxville at a Cracker Barrel and uh, they had, we had had a, a tremendous rainstorm just as we pulled up uh, and lightning and thunder and uh, I really did not want to take the chance of getting hit by lightning so we just put the camera out the window and showed you where we parked it was a great level uh, lot there we went in about 20 minutes after this and met with our niece uh, that lives there in Knoxville. She came out to eat with us. It was a great great time seeing her. Uh, please uh, uh, subscribe to the video if you would. Click that like button. We would sure appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy the video. We talk about Cracker Barrels, staying at Cracker Barrels. This is the second Cracker Barrel we stayed at. Uh, it was more level than the first, and we started to stay at another Cracker Barrel, but it was so unlevel we couldn't. It was we were facing downhill. The parking lot was just not not suitable for us to stay in. But as you as you go to the Cracker Barrels in the bigger cities, here's what you need to watch out for. And it's not say it's a bad thing, but you don't know what type of people are camping nearby that are homeless. It might be, they might be truly homeless, or they may be into drugs or anything else. You just need to be aware of it in case you you let your kids take the, the you let the kids take the dogs out. I'm not going down there to them because I don't want to disturb them if they're truly truly homeless, but. You can see the tent, the tent down there, and uh, blew in a pretty worn path down there to them. 
Uh, my concern is if I have little, if you have little kids and you let them walk the dog up in here or whatever that you might stumble on somebody's encampment where they may be doing drugs or they may be sleeping. It's just not safe. You just never know. Not accusing homeless and you know, poor anybody. It's all up in my grill about it. I'm not accusing all homeless of being pedophiles or anything. I'm just saying you got to be careful. That's all I'm saying. You got to be careful. Another thing is we had a lot of people sleeping in their cars last night. We got one behind us here. I don't want to bother them. But uh, another gentleman, he, he came up here about 5 o'clock. Slept all night and left early in the morning. Tells me he's got a job and just can't afford an apartment right now. So anyway, it's uh, you're staying at Cracker Barrel. Just things you need to consider, you know. But we're uh, we're fixing to leave. We're headed to Hershey, Pennsylvania. Sales and 